Hey guys, it's David here from TheUnlocker.com. Uh, today we're going to show you a new improved method on how to get Hero onto your T-Mobile G1. So if you're not already on our page, go there now, TheUnlocker.com, spelled like that. And then you're going to search for Load Hero onto your G1. Once you find the post, you're going to scroll down. And read this section before doing anything else. Uh, you first have to root your G1. We have a link there on the procedure on how to do that. If you have an apps2sd method that's already been used, get rid of it um, by formatting your card. Um, you need to have a 2 gig, 4 gig, or 8 gig micro SD memory card to do this. If you have the 1 gig card that the phone came with, it's just not enough space for us to do what we need to do. Um, and it can work, but it's very unpleasant and I recommend getting a bigger card. Uh, then also make sure that you have a micro SD adapter. What that is is this thing here came with the uh, memory card most likely. Um, you want to make sure you have one of these and then a slot on your computer where you can put this in. If your computer doesn't have a slot for this, then uh, just get like a USB to micro SD adapter and, uh, and and get one of those. It's definitely worth it, um, especially if you're messing around with your G1. It's a great thing to have. Okay, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, the next step is going to be to flash the cyanogens uh, recovery image if you don't already have it. If you do, you can skip this part. Um, if you don't or you have no idea what I'm talking about, then follow these steps. First thing is you're going to download the actual recovery image from our site here, this link. Um, and then uh, once you do that, we're going to plug in the G1 and we're going to mount it to the computer. Okay, after we've downloaded the uh, Cyanogen recovery image, we're going to plug our G1 into our computer with a USB cable. Wait for that to come up. Scroll down, hit mount. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to take the recovery image and save it onto our memory card. Okay, once we have this cyanogen recovery image on our SD card, we're going to unplug the G1 and we're going to open terminal. When you open terminal, you're going to type SU. If it pops up and asks for permission, uh, just click Always Allow. Otherwise, you can begin typing, which is going to be flash underscore image space recovery space slash SD card slash CM hyphen recovery. Recovery hyphen one point four dot IMG and then hit enter. And once you get the little number symbol, you're all set and you now have the uh, cyanogen recovery image. Okay, next step, we are going to partition the memory card. But first things first, we're going to plug our G1 in. And hit mount. Okay, when the computer uh, loads the SD card, we're going to take everything on the SD card and save it to a folder. I called mine backup. You can call it whatever you want. And then it's going to save everything that was on our SD card onto our computer just for backup reasons because when we do this, we're going to actually wipe our entire SD card. Okay, now that we've let everything back up, we're going to unplug the G1 and we're going to turn it off. Okay, you should see Cyanogen's recovery image. We're going to hit Alt-X to get into console. So once you get into console, you're going to type in the following depending on what uh, size card you have. 
this for an 8 gig, this for a 4, and this for a 2. Okay, before we continue, we're going to check to see what radio version we have by holding down the power and the camera button at the same time. Okay, once you either get this screen or uh, the rainbow screen, and you can look at the top. And there's my radio version right there, 2.22.19.26i. If you have that version, do not load the radio again. Um, if you don't have that version, if you have anything other than that, then follow the procedure as uh, listed on our site. Okay, once the phone reboots, we're going to plug it into the USB cable. And click mount. Okay, now that the uh, SD card is mounted onto the computer, we are going to take um, our radio, our SPL, and our actual Hero ROM, put them all on the memory card itself. So we'll just take one of them right now, put it over, and let it load on. Um, if you already have the latest SPL and the latest radio, then all you need to do is load the Hero ROM. If you don't, then read on our site and it'll show you how to do the SPL and the radio. It's all done the same way. You basically, just put them all on here. You rename the one that you want to update right now to update.zip, and then load into recovery and load it, which I'll show you in a second for the Hero uh, ROM itself. Uh, and then go on to the next one and the next one until all three are loaded. You want to start with the radio, then do the SPL, and then do the Hero ROM. Again, if you already have the radio or the SPL, do not load them again. It'll mess up your phone, um, so just don't do it, and just go straight to the Hero ROM like we're doing here. Okay, once this loads, we're going to rename it to Update. And then we are going to close this out. Okay, once we're ready to update, we're going to turn off the phone, and then we're going to turn it back on, holding down Power and the Home button. And once our recovery image comes up, we're going to hit Alt W to wipe the device. Press Home to confirm. And then we're going to hit Alt S to install the new image. Press Home to confirm. Okay, we're going to let that install. And then once it reboots, you should have your Hero ROM. And you're all ready to go.